everybody. Welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're doing a 2021 relationship forecast for you. So this is if you're in a current relationship, we'll see what energies might be in store for you through 2021. If you are single and looking for love, this isn't your reading. Please go and check out the singles readings that are posted, okay? So this is also a general and intuitive reading, so not every message will resonate with every single person. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So this reading is for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are also welcome if you're here checking out your significant other's reading. All right, so let's get started. Messages for Leo, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we need to know for the year ahead? Year ahead, year ahead for their relationship, please. What do we need to know? All right. Milk and honey. Very nice. Very nice message there. All right. Exchanging gifts beautiful and thinker all right wow that is nice energy okay milk and honey your dreams coming true this is as far as a relationship goes this is everything that you could want all right and um, the way I pull these energies it just flows throughout the year all right, and the energies can overlap. However, at least for uh, for now, from wherever you find this reading, this is how you feel. You feel as though um, you're abundant. You have an abundance of love. Um, you have that shared connection. It's like everything that you could ever want is what you've got right now. And it's a beautiful energy to um, be sitting in. It's very magical. All right, very magical and um, just a beautiful energy and it's one that allows you to um, to share with each other it's like reciprocated um, exchanging gifts is is about exchanging love exchanging ideas exchanging communication right your hopes dreams fears someone that you can talk to all right and it's also a reminder with this energy that um, you need to make sure that the relationship you're in allows you to do that. All right. You can be head over heels and you can be in love and you can have all the desire and love and everything in the world, but there has to be more than that as well. So you have to have that um, reciprocal kind of energy back and forth with your partner in order for things to go the long term, right? And past the honeymoon phase. Okay. And then some of you, at some point along the way, you might be evaluating your relationship and making sure that it really is everything that you're looking for, um, because desire and passion um, don't make up everything, right? So as we see with the exchanging gifts, there's more to it than that. So some of you, at some point along the way, will probably uh, take the logical approach. Uh, the thinker is a logical energy. Take the logical approach and say, okay, and weigh up the pros and cons and what works and what doesn't and you know it's not a bad energy either because by thinking logically and putting the passion and the romance aside um, will quite often result in better long-term choices okay for both you and your partner all right so it's not a bad energy there um, sorry if you heard that little grunt that's my <laughs> my dog is snoring under the table okay anyway <laughs> I heard it clearly if you didn't. So anyway, that was not me. So um, let's pull some tarot and see where we go. So what I'm going to do just so you know is I'm going to pull all the cards and then I'll walk you through them and what they all mean and what positions that they're sitting in, okay? So message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we need to know about our relationship for 2021, please? Messages for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we need to know the most, please? All right. So we have the Nine of Swords coming out first. We have Ten of Cups. 
the Fool. Then we have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups. Very nice, very nice. And the Nine of Cups. Wow, okay. And then we have the Lovers and the Three of Wands. Wow, okay. Oh, this is such a beautiful reading. Nine of Swords aside, okay. So let's get right into this for you guys. Nine of Swords, this is you. What are you worried about? All right, you're laying awake at night, you're anxious, you're, you have anxiety, you're, um, I feel this is most likely you with the thinker energy right here, you're, oh, you're trying to evaluate the situation, the relationship, you're analyzing everything, you're laying there awake, your mind is playing tricks on you, oh my goodness gracious me, but I tell you, it is all in your head, okay, our mind can play the most horrific tricks on us in the middle of the night when we're not sleeping and we're tired and we're tossing and turning, okay? So from what I see here, though, this is beautiful union, okay? This looks like a beautiful relationship, all right? So it feels like maybe what you, maybe what you think is that it's too good to be true. What could possibly be wrong, right? Where is this going? What are we doing? Right, you're overanalyzing it, you're overthinking the situation, okay? And this can be the same whether this is a newer relationship or whether it's a more established one, okay? You're just at that point in that relationship where you're just starting to overanalyze every little thing, okay? So let's clarify that for you a little bit because that is quite often an energy of um, being worried over nothing, being anxious over nothing. Unfounded fears is typically what that energy is there. All right, clarify this Nine of Swords for me. Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Okay, we have the Lovers twice here. All right. So I think here, okay, I think here that you know, you know that this is a good, solid connection. I think you know that there, the lovers is a soulmate energy, okay? It also used to be called the choice, all right? So even though you're in partnership with somebody, you do still have that choice, even if it's um, a soulmate or a karmic connection, okay, or a twin flame, right? You still have the choice not to proceed with the connection should you so choose. And I think that maybe has you worried because I think your feelings for this person run so deep, okay? And it's just such a wonderful, prosperous energy for you, a lot of love, a lot of connection, and I think it's got you freaked out. All right. I think you're worried that it's too good to be true. Okay. But the queen of wands, this is, this is stability. The queen of wands is full of passion and fire. All right. And, um, maturity, strength, and you're the person that people go to for answers. All right. But yet you're, you're questioning your own, uh, your own choices here. All right. But I think you're willing and you want to step up in this relationship. You want to have something um, solid and stable with them. You want to go on a new adventure with them. So I feel here that your um, that your anxiety is um, unfounded, okay? Because the significance of having the lovers come out twice, uh, it's hugely significant, okay? This person was sent to you. All right. And I would say that normally like a soulmate or a twin flame isn't always in your life forever. Okay. Because sometimes they're just, they come back to complete a cycle or to teach us a lesson. All right. Um, but I will say for your long-term outlook, it looks really good for you. Okay. At least from the energies that I'm seeing here today. Okay. And 
part of what might actually have you freaking out is how your person feels about you. Ten of Cups. You're their happy ending. They want the world with you. They want everything. You complete them. This is an energy of complete emotional fulfillment. It's one of the happiest energies in the deck. And actually, speaking of happiest energies, by the way, you also have the sun coming out. All right. So, um, so, and I think this person wants to marry you. They want to blend their families with you. If you both have, um, children, um, this might not be your first, uh, your first union, right? Um, but this is, they want to spend their life with you. They want their happily ever after, and they see you as being that person. Your connection, you're on a new adventure. This is your current connection right here. Okay, this is the fool. It's the leap of faith. So they might actually, they might actually have already told you that they want to spend their life with you and they want to marry you. Okay, because they just have ultimate faith knowing that this connection is good and true and real and that the universe has your back and that spirit has your best interests at heart. And I think your person knows it and you're just, you're just, uh, you're, you're stuck in that thinker, thinker energy just a little bit. Okay, and it might scare you a little bit, but this is the fool take that leap of faith. And that's the point you're going on new adventures together. Maybe you're traveling. You're certainly starting something new. Okay, you have everything you need to move forward with your life with the two of you. Okay, it's a beautiful energy, like I gotta say. All right. Your foundation of your relationship is one of deep soul love. A lot of love here. This is the Queen of Cups, okay? You're both mature, so you probably do have children or blending your families together. This might not be the first marriage for either of you, okay? Certainly not your first long-term relationship, I don't feel, okay? And But there is a lot of love here. This is that soul connection, that beautiful nurturing energy, okay? And the Queen of Cups can um, sometimes forget about everything else other than that relationship or that connection, all right? But there is a lot of love between you guys here, and that is the foundation of your relationship, okay? Milk and honey right there, all right? It's really wonderful energy for you. Okay. Um, the ace of pentacles is showing up. This is, uh, this is my position for your challenge or your blessing, depending on which card comes out. The ace of cups or sorry, the ace of pentacles. This is a blessing. Okay. This is a gift. The aces are gifts from the universe. This is luck. This is good fortune. This is the start of something new, but with all the powers of fortune and destiny and creation all at all working with you okay this shows that um that your union is blessed it's brought to you and you just need to embrace it this is a beautiful energy to have as far as your relationship is you notice how i'm not actually even clarifying any of these <laughs> so far I don't really need to okay now this is really interesting though because the sun is showing up in your external influence okay so this can mean a number of things sometimes this uh sometimes this card can represent children okay so your children might actually be just as happy as the with this partnership as you are okay and if they are you should embrace that for sure, because it's not easy to blend families if that's the case. All right. And for others of you, if you don't have children, um, this can just represent um, spirit stepping in and showing you your path to happiness and joy. Okay. A higher power has guided you towards this union, this partnership. You didn't meet by accident. All right. And it's a beautiful energy. This is just, it's success. It's inner joy. It's um, nearing completion, right? Nearing completion with this sun energy here, um, allowing you to go forward with that happiness and that success and that victory, right? See, this is almost like a victory march. And here's the funny thing. The six of wands shows up next. And look, victory success. 
Okay, beautiful energy there, beautiful energy. So it feels like there is a higher power guiding you forward, right? And so you do have a lot of success in this relationship. This is your in your glory, okay? Both of you, you're very happy. You're in your glory. You're marching towards the future. This is something beautiful, something ha happy, something strong. This is victory. This is triumph over past trials and tribulations. I don't even have cards from the past showing up here. So it's like you've both probably done an awful lot of work on yourselves to get you to the positive energy that you're sitting in right now. Okay, it's really beautiful. And I think that if you already haven't been proposed to, I think you are going to very shortly. Okay, at some point, probably the first half of the year, I would say. Right, with this, with this energy. Um, within the year, I think you're going to, you're going to solidify that commitment because we came from an energy of queen of cups and now we're moving into the king of cups. Okay. Beautiful union. All right. And the king of the king of cups, um, sometimes the, uh, the king of cups is someone very warm and very generous and, and very jovial, um, uh, someone you can talk to, someone you can share everything with, your hopes and dreams, someone that you go to for advice and comfort, all right? Um, someone that likes to have a good time, usually in a pretty good mood, you know, that kind of energy, right? So for your relationship to move, to mature and graduate into that, and that's a lot of success as well. So it's a beautiful energy that 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 moves into so it feels as though it feels as though either you or your person will be extending your hand and saying marry me come in union with me i want to solidify this i want to move forward with you okay and your wishes come true all your wishes and dreams and hopes come true with the nine of cups right the nine of cups it's wow this is like i swear one of the best relationship readings i gotta tell you okay um this is fulfillment. This is your wishes coming true. Everything you ever dreamed of, everything you never really thought was possible. And this is what you have. It's that, uh, it's, it's a beautiful energy, right? It really is. It's, it's that complete emotional fulfillment and you see how happy this guy is, right? And it's filled with love and passion and forward momentum. Okay. It's just a wonderful energy. All right. Advice from spirit. Okay, we already saw I did get a clarifier, right? And we had the lovers come out. Well, advice from spirit is the lovers. So this is spirit telling you that this person is your person. All right, this is your soulmate. This is that deep connection. All right, you don't have to make that choice. But to be honest, why wouldn't you? Like, seriously, I mean, it might be scary because you might think it's too good to be true. But embrace this person embrace the opportunity that spirit has sent to you okay because you have nothing but joy and happiness and abundance here okay it doesn't mean to say that you won't have your ups and downs along the way every relationship does and of course you right now are apparently awake at night okay but this is true this is a true connection there's no there's no underlying motives behind this okay it's good it's good. Your long-term outcome, page of wands. This is expansion. This is leveling up in your commitment. This is starting on that new adventure with passion. You're taking action. All right. You might be traveling, right? You could end up traveling with this, uh, with this card right there. Okay. That's the, that's the energy that it's in, but it's that expansion. Okay. Um, Sometimes the page of wands can also be a little bit um, um, impulsive, okay? But maybe that's not a bad thing, right? Maybe that's not a bad thing because, of course, you guys already have the fool, all right? So it's like you're just, you're just ready to walk into the future with the world at your feet, with all the possibilities that you could possibly think of 
and you are solid and you're stable. It's just a beautiful reading. <laughs> it really is nice. Like it really is. So I think, so I think this thinker energy, I think that's you, um, just worrying that something is, I think too good to be true. And you're just not, something is making you just not trust the connection, probably from what you've been through in the past, past experiences, right? They do play a huge role in how we move forward with things, right? But the energies as they are here now, right this very second, right when you're watching this reading is absolutely beautiful. I just can't even say any more than that. Like really... So I'm going to round out your reading with an Angel Answers card and let's see our uh, last little tidbit of advice from our angels. What else does Leo need to know, please? What else does Leo need to know? I should say also, <laughs> I should say also that um, you could be dealing with a Gemini because Lovers is the card of Gemini. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I get so wrapped up in your readings, I forget to uh, give you the astrological um associations with some of these cards okay um but they could be a gemini okay they don't have to be um gemini is just represented by the lover's card um but uh they could have gemini in their chart okay they could also be a water sign because there's a lot of uh there's a lot of cup energy here so cancer scorpio pisces all right um and of course they could also be fire sign um, but I think more likely, um, I think more likely, um, either a water sign or a Gemini. Okay. It doesn't have to be, but, uh, those energies are showing up. So the angel answer card that flew out success, success. Yay. Right. What does that say? It's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. I don't know who's happier about this, me or you probably me. Cause I'm obviously getting this reading before you are. Um, but it's wonderful energy. It really is like, you know, I, I couldn't, if I, if I wanted to pull a better relationship spread, um, I probably couldn't if I tried. Okay. So a lot of success in your future, a lot of happiness, a lot of good fortune, um, a lot of love and that commitment. All right. Love it. Love it for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there because it can't get any better really. Um, I'm going to leave it at there. Hopefully there was messages in here that helped you along your way whenever you happen to see this reading. Um, and if there was, don't forget to like, subscribe and share because that helps me. I truly appreciate that. And um, keep on checking back because I do these monthly and uh, monthly, weeklies, dailies, uh, that kind of thing. Because um, energies can change throughout the year as well. We have that wonderful thing called free will. All right. Um, so anyways, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.